guys, this is Dodoid. So this is a Toshiba Portage laptop. It's a nice little i5 box I got out of e-waste, and I think it's a pretty neat machine. Would make a good spare if my main machine stopped working, and overall, just a nice laptop. But unfortunately, like a lot of systems that come from e-waste, it's lacking something rather important. It did come with a hard drive, which is nice, but unfortunately, it's completely missing its power supply. Now, sometimes with e-waste, you'll get lucky, and someone will put the power cable in the box with the machine. But generally, that only happens if somebody is already donating a box of stuff. If you just have someone coming by to drop off the laptop by itself, you're almost certainly out of luck when it comes to getting a power adapter. So, when I get home at the end of a day at the e-waste center, how do I test out all my machines? Well, I use this. This is a Yihua DC bench power supply, a YH305D if you're interested. It's meant for electronics testing, and I have used it with a couple of Arduinos and things, but generally for such things they'll run on 5 volts and you can just work with USB. What I like this thing for is that it can be adjusted in terms of voltage, and it has the ability to provide a decent amount of current, generally enough to charge a decent laptop. So here's how I run a laptop without the original power adapter and without having to order a replacement before I know if the machine works. So how do you do this? Well, first you look at the bottom or the side of the laptop, and you try to figure out how many volts it uses. As you can see, this Toshiba says it uses 19 volts, which is pretty standard for a laptop, and 3.42 amps, which should be well within spec of what this power supply can handle. Then what you do is you look at the side of the laptop and find this little symbol. As you can see, the line from the plus symbol is going to the center circle in that diagram, which means that this is a center positive connector. The positive pin is the center of the barrel jack. Now that you know those basic parameters, now that you know those basic parameters, you can set up your power supply to use them. First, take a look at where the cable is wired onto these connectors. As you can see, we've got red to red and white to black. Now, I happen to know that this cable is wired for center positive, which means that red on red means that positive is in the center. If your device is center negative, like some older systems are, you'll have to switch, putting red on black instead so that the voltage is reversed. Next, we can turn on the power supply and check out what voltage it's at. It looks like right now this one's at 7.5 volts, so we'll set that to 19. And you have the fine adjustment knob there. Okay, 19 volts. Then, get out your set of barrel jacks, start with the largest one, and try them all in the laptop's connector. Use whichever the first one that fits is. On this one, it's this. So, we've decided that this white one is proper for this Toshiba, we know that it needs 19 volts, which we've set the power supply to, and we've confirmed that it's center positive. Now, all we need to do is the final step. Take the end of your connector, plug it into the barrel jack, and try out the laptop. And there we go. It's booting right up. So yeah, that's how you use one of these bench power supplies to run a laptop you don't have the charger for. It's probably not something most people could justify having around for just a laptop every now and then, but I go through enough e-waste machines that it actually does make sense to have this here to test them all out. So yeah, if you did enjoy the video, then please do subscribe. There's still a very, very small channel. It does help us grow. And until next time, bye.